Stefan Vaughn, I got some questions for you. Now, we've heard that you had a really unique casting experience for the movies. Can you share any of that story with us? Uh, yeah, well, that was, I mean, I would never be where I am today if I hadn't been a huge Harry Potter fan to start with. I think everyone knows that. I don't make it a secret. <laughs> But yeah, I used to, I really, really wanted to play that part. I just, because I read, um, I started reading them when I was eight, and I knew about Luna's character, and I knew she was coming up, and I was keeping an eye. <laughs> I was like a big fan of the films already. So I used to go on all the Harry Potter websites, MuggleNet, I should give them a shout out. <laughs> I used to go on MuggleNet every day, uh, just for news, and uh, one day there was an announcement for an open casting for Luna, I was like, that's me, that's my ticket, so, um, and I, I lived in Ireland, I'm, I'm from Ireland, and uh, it was in London, so I kind of had to beg my parents, and my mum didn't want me to go, because I had school, and my dad, who's here, hi dad, um, he, he, he took me, he said, oh, let's give it a shot, and uh, yeah, so it, it was, it was a big open audition, basically anyone could go, uh, there was... How many people do you think were there? What? How many people do you think were at that open audition? Well, they said 15,000, but that's a scary number. I think, I don't know. Um, yeah, they said that. And that one, apparently three boys turned up to the other show. Fair play. Is it these guys? Yeah, these two in wigs. Um, yeah, and I had that, it, it was on a, a Saturday. It was actually January, and Dad actually, he, he does that every January. If he, Well, he's here, so he didn't do it this time, but he sends me a text, and he goes, six years ago to this day and he'll give the whole story <laughs> um, and the moral of that story is is make sure you got a good dad <laughs> spoken by a good one yeah and then yeah and then a week later i had a screen test and that was it, it happened really fast it happened within two weeks now did you did you go back and be like dad thank you <laughs> <laughs> thank you yes yes i did Definitely he paid off. out of it too. He, we, he always does that. We were walking around, uh, we went to the NASA Space Center the other day, and he still does this. He turns around, because we get oh. into places now. Harry Potter just opens doors. We turn around, he's like, isn't it well he landed that part? He just... <laughs> <laughs> so, he, he's doing okay. <laughs> now, you have a very special connection with your own character, but other than Luna, which character is your favorite? That's a good question. Um, probably Dumbledore. I... Albus, I like it. He, yeah, he's just wise and quirky and has great dress sense. And <laughs> I, yeah, I just always took a lot. Everything, every time he comes into the books or like the, the scene, like in book and movie, you just kind of go, oh, it's gonna be okay now. Dumbledore's here. Except until book six. Book six ruined it, but... Um, <laughs> I don't know, he always made me feel safe, and I trusted him, yeah. Now, you said you were a fan, you ended up being in the movies. If you weren't acting in the films, would you have wanted to work on the production any other way, like directing, or props, or anything? Like, what would that be? Um, actually, I did, when, when I was, because we were all in school at the time, and uh, in my fourth year of school we had to do work experience in other places and I mean I was working on the Harry Potter films kind of the coolest place to do work experience so I just I, I contacted the people I went to I worked at the makeup department and in the costume department and uh, and the art department but I think I enjoyed the costume most because it was so much fun and it, it, it just felt very, like it, it was a big part in creating the characters as well definitely like for Luna, I wouldn't feel f fully Luna until I put on my horseradishes and the whole shebang, you know. Fully so, in character. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so it felt very creative and, and cool. Now, knowing that you had such a huge knowledge of the books beforehand, was there anything that was in the books that you would have loved to have seen made it into the movie that didn't make it in? To any oh, of them? So many things. Um, I was gutted that they cut out Dumbledore's funeral. I actually like marched up to the producer's office and I was like, you can have my paycheck. If it's money, just take it. Because I mean, like, I mean, they gave Dobby a good send off. I just felt it was, I, it broke my heart that he didn't get a funeral. Um, but we gave him a wand tribute. 
it's not the same, but still. Um, and then I was really sad personally. I was sad that I didn't get to do the Quidditch match commentating because uh, it was so cool. And it was in there at first, and we had the line out and everything, and it just it got cut. Um, but yeah, because I was never one in matches, even though it was Quidditch, I kind of nod off a bit. I don't find it that interesting, and I thought Luna would make it. Sorry, all so the So it was boys. just like football. Sorry. <laughs> I, yeah, but I liked how she commentated it. Very nice. Now, speaking of changes from the pages of screen, now we've talked about Luna and Neville's relationship during the Deathly Hollows. <laughs> now, as a fan of the books, how did you feel about that? Do you think that Luna and Neville would have made a good couple? Yeah, that was, a, that was funny, wasn't it? Matt, you can, you can respond to this too. <laughs> Be very careful how you answer this one. <laughs> <laughs> um, it was a funny one because it was always, and I'm, I was always aware of the fan world, the fan fiction world, that CD world. Um, because, and it was one of those things that people always thought of and they kind of wanted to happen. But normally when you change something from the books, change something in the movies from, from the books, people get very mad. They just like, they don't like it. It's not canon. It shouldn't be there. But this was one that actually everyone was really happy with. And I think it's just like, it's, they're both outsiders. They're both kind of, they're, they're weird and proud about it. And um, it, it just was nice. And it also kind of fit in the context of the war. Uh, because everyone gets married then, because they don't know if they're going to live or die, and that was cute. But I also, like, that moment at the end of the film where they woke up, it's a bit awkward, it's like... Mm. I, personally, I think, I think too, Luna's too weird for Neville. Um, <laughs> but, but do you think that JK couldn't resist matchmaking with her creations, you know? I think that... To, Towards the end we of it, she just be she couldn't he help it. This one, this here, this yeah. <laughs> like knitting. She was like a mom, like matching everybody together at that point. <laughs> it was quite. It was quite nice. That I think it was. Um, you know, to see those journeys uh, as well, you know, the, the characters of, of Neville and Luna come so far from when we first see them to, to when we, we, you know, we see them in, in the Death of Hallows part two. You know, just that, that, that one scene we just saw there, um, you know, Ivana's um, sort of introduction to, to Harry Potter, um, the, all the looks that sort of Neville gives her, he just thinks she's the weirdest person of all time. Um, and yet by Death of Hallows part two, you know, he's, he's like crazy for her. So it's like, it's... Um, I just really liked that, that whole journey, even if it wasn't canon, I quite liked the way it was. Um... There, there were, I noticed after it was all decided and the film was made, I don't know, because I'm weird, I still put Harry Potter posters up in my room, but there's, I have the fifth one up in my room, and one day I was looking at it and I was like, hang on, Luna's totally checking Neville out. If you look at it, everyone else is looking really determined at the camera, and Luna's like, <laughs> checking him out. It happens. <laughs> Listen, I'm like, I'm still doing it now. <laughs> He's getting a little cold down there. He's not feeling any of the heat. <laughs> Ivana, that's all the questions I have for you. Thank you very much.